In today's video, we find out what happens when Darth Vader meets the Spider-Verse squad. That includes Gwen and so much more. Let me explain. So currently, you have a Gwen NPC on the map. We also have Darth Vader. Now, obviously, I want to simulate some sort of spider melee attack. Now, to do this, we can use the 8-ball NPC who fights with his connected blade. So as always, we have to come up with a plan for these videos, and the plan was to grab Darth Vader and take him over to the location of 8-ball, where we'll simulate Mars Morales, and obviously take over Gwen as well. So once they were there, we could get this to work, and 8-ball using his kinetic blade should be able to simulate it pretty accurately of how Spider-Man would fight. So let's jump on in. Just before we get into this, if you haven't already checked out my 50v50 UEFM map, make sure you do it. A lot of you guys have said you've been enjoying it, so if you have, let me know. And also, give me some feedback down below what you think of the map, how can I change it, what can I add, what can I remove, and I might do it. So yeah, go and check the map out, the code's on screen. So jumping into the gameplay, we first had to locate the location of Gwen. Gwen's usually located somewhere on the map in a position, I would say, towards Slappy, but it's random at the minute. It can be anywhere in Slappy, so we have to try and find her. She has a few different spawns, and landing in, all we've got to do is grab ourselves a green lightsaber. So I'm going to land over at the petrol station. This is where the lightsabers do spawn, and this will give us the ability to grab a lightsaber and then grab Gwen and take her over. So if we search around for a lightsaber, we should be able to grab one in the car. As I'm uploading this video, the lightsaber's may have been removed in BR currently, but obviously it still doesn't affect the outcome of the video. The lightsaber is just simply being used to move the Gwen boss or NPC over to the location of the actual eight ball and Darth. So yeah, green lightsaber spotted, we grabbed one, we found one and we're set to go. So let's get it off Kenobi, grab our green lightsaber and get this into action. Also, if you guys haven't already, roughly 90% of you guys watching these videos aren't subscribed already, so tap it. And thank you so much for half a million, everyone. Much love and respect for helping me get to half a million. Let's see if we can keep going beyond and see where we get to. I don't know if we'll ever get to a million, but we can only try. So subscribe if you haven't already. But yeah, so we're moving in. We've located the slappy location of the Gwen NPC and you can see she's spawned on top of the slap juice factory if we head over here you will find her on top of the factory sometimes by the way her spawn can be different each time and if we grab her from up here we should be able to direct her over to the location of eight ball by using the force push ability so she spawns in somewhere around here it looks like my team have already started moving her you can see her over there in the distance we're just trying to catch them up here and we've now all got green lightsabers to be able to move her over pretty swiftly before the storm does close sadly no battle labs anymore so this stuff can be very difficult to pull off but if we do manage to do it we can be able to actually pull off these incredible videos for you guys so let's hope we can do it so Gwen's located just currently in the water we'll give her a few seconds maybe try and force push it out of the water oh perfect that was perfect I put it straight on the land she's not going to jump down there is she oh she did I thought she was going to go around to the bridge but that's okay we'll get her back up nice little force push up and Gwen goes up so while this is taking place my team are also moving Darth Vader and keeping eight ball occupied at his POI he's definitely occupied and Gwen's moving pretty swiftly over to the location so we're getting there we're almost there using our kinetic blade to keep up with Gwen go over another little force here we go lovely force ability straight over the mountain and that sends her into the location of the eight ball troop now eight ball spawns here at this spot so this is perfect Gwen gets in there now all we need is Darth to arrive and once Darth arrives we'll be able to see who's going to win between the spider team and hopefully eight ball can simulate some sort of spider ability with his kinetic blade obviously npcs use the kinetic blade a little bit differently to us human players so it'll be interesting to see how he reacts to darth vader with them but darth has arrived right now you can see him just down there to the bottom right with his exclamation mark we're now leading him into the npcs here towards eight ball and gwen hopefully darth will manage to hit them both we're going to try and put them right next to each other so they do team up together and work against darth here we go darth swings in he hits gwen he hits eight ball and we switch over to the replay straight away as always so you guys can get a good preview of this fight here you can see darth doing his best here goes in straight for eight ball eight ball actually flings Darth away using his little blade, which is quite interesting. He gets another double fling on that, and it looks like 8-Ball decided to actually fight against Gwen here in this fight. He does aim a few shots on Gwen, but doesn't do too much damage to Gwen, and decides to go over to target to Darth. Now, he does have a pistol and a kinetic blade, so he switches between these. 8-Ball moves in. You can see we've got Gwen now on the left side. Gwen also aiming on Darth Vader now, using her shotgun in this situation, which is pretty nice. Again, the shotgun's very good at close range here, but not very good at range. Darth gets a lovely lightsaber throw on the Gwen, but unfortunately, doesn't do enough damage against Gwen there. Gwen aims in with her pistol getting a few shots there switching over back to the shotgun reloading it with the maven gets a lovely hit there with the maven darth does take a little bit of damage there though he's taking damage from eight ball in the distance with the pistol and also slice it onto gwen so we do force push them away and gwen gets in position with darth and the 
actual Vader himself and Gwen reloading onto each other, doing as much damage as possible. Vader is definitely doing an absolute ton of damage here against the Gwen NPC. Absolutely slicing through Gwen and finishes her off there in that 1v1 situation, which leaves only the actual 8-Ball and Darth left to fight each other. 8-Ball goes in for a swing, swings back Darth Vader. Darth Vader moves in. Again, 8-Ball swinging back the Darth Vader again, doing a lot of damage. Darth Vader pulls in the 8-Ball, trying his best to do as much damage, but unfortunately misses his lightsaber throw there, doesn't get enough damage off of that, and 8-Ball swings out the way. That was a crazy move there with the force pull and obviously the pistol switch. Another lightsaber from there definitely hits 8-Ball there, getting a good amount of damage, misses the final throw back of the lightsaber. Again, 8-Ball switching to that kinetic blade, getting that little push away. Really effective move. Then Darth goes in, but then 8-Ball runs back to his PY. Unfortunately, takes the lightsaber hit, switches to his kinetic blade, pushes back Darth Vader a little bit. The 1v1 is doing quite well. Will the 8-Ball actually clutch up here for the Gwen NPC? I feel like he could do. Obviously, a little force push there. Darth jumps to the side. Darth moving in over here, gets in with a little bit of swing. Did a little bit of damage, but 8-Ball does push him back there again. This is his tactic to keep pushing Darth back as he does kind of push him in. He runs away or hits him with the kinetic blade to move Darth back and then switches over to the pistol to fight Darth. This is a really cool simulation. Definitely how maybe a Spider-Man would actually kind of combat or at least fight against Darth Vader. And I kind of like what 8-Ball's doing. He's rotating in, he moves in, gets the kinetic blade shot, switches back to his pistol and then retreats. It's a really effective way or pushes Darth back. Here you can see the fight continues between these two. 8-Ball trying his best to get as much damage on as possible. Currently not target on Darth Vader. Sometimes it does glitch out and he un targets, but here you can see 8-Ball retargets onto Darth Vader trying his best. Darth Vader is swinging on 8-Ball, but 8-Ball is not fighting back here. What is he doing? He's slowly walking away, but not fighting at all. This is a really bad advantage here for 8-Ball. He's taking the disadvantage, but we're going to be coming in there and actually moving him away, and we get him out of there, and 8-Ball switches back to his blade and pistol by using a little kind of slide, knee slide away, and he gets him in. Lovely little knock back there from the 8-Ball, which moves Darth into the arena center here. Darth trying to force push towards the force force around. Now we actually move Darth towards the location of the 8-Ball. 8-Ball trying his best to his pistol again. Not doing much damage against Darth here. Darth is blocking some of these shots. He does actually get a lot of block in Darth. Obviously, 8-Ball doing the best he can with his pistol, trying against the Darth. The Darth does move into the backside over here. Now Darth actually focused on us. This gives 8-Ball a little bit of an advantage to do enough damage against Darth to get the win. We force push Darth back into the fight. Darth lands in. 8-Ball. Darth goes with a huge jump. Look at that crazy jump. He swings in, lands in over here. 8-Ball switches over to his kinetic blade, swings in onto Darth, does a huge amount of damage on Darth. Pushing him straight back, absolutely wrecking him. Switching over to his pistol in the air, getting some extra shots onto the Darth Vader there. Is he going to get enough damage on the Darth to eliminate him? He swings in with that, misses the lights. Oh, hits the lightsaber throw actually on the eight ball. Will the eight ball be able to finish Darth? And he fires his final shot and gets the elimination on the Darth Vader boss. And the eight ball takes a W for the Miles Morales simulation. And wow. What an incredible melee fight that was between these two. One that I wanted to do since the start of Darth being added. And that definitely was an unexpected outcome. But if you guys haven't already, don't forget to go and try out the code on screen and try out my big battle 50 50 map in UEFN. Let me know some feedback. I'd love to know what you guys think of the map and the video. And thank you for all the support recently, guys. You guys absolutely rock.